This is Dror Moshe Kasuto. Vayomer Adonai Elohim. So the Creator said, Hen Adam hayak echad mimeno. Now that Adam became in a way, in a certain aspect, like us, like the Creator and the angels, that he has the free choice, that he knows that he found this ability to choose between good and, and, and bad. Lada tovara. Now, if he will reach to pick from the fruits of tree of life, he will eat from that tree and he will live forever. Means, for an example, if a person now is doing something wrong and by that wrong thing that he will do, he will defect himself. So that's like... It's not good, but it's okay. Like you want to harm yourself, you want to damage yourself. So like, okay. But if a person now is damaging others, so then like the society, other people around him, supposed to put an end to it. So when the Creator saw that now Adam is in that place of damaging others, that he's able to use his free choice also to damage other people and to do evil things and wrong things, so now if he will allow him to stay in Garden of Eden and to eat from Tree of Life, so he won't die ever. He will have eternal life. And then with eternal life, also to evil people, you by that allowing them to keep on damaging and destroying people, other people's life. And that's a very wrong thing. So the Creator is stopping that by excommunicating, deporting him from heaven, from Garden of Eden. He sent him, Hashem sent him from Eden to work and, and, and to, be, to, 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 to suffer, to go through difficulties on earth, outside of Garden of Eden. So he sent Adam and his wife out of Garden of Eden um, on the eastern side of Eden and inside of the, the gate and outside of the gate he put et ha-kerubim um, ve-et la-at ha-kerev ha-mitapechet he put angels um, with a flipping sword to guard the path for the tree of life lishmor et derech et zachayim to protect and to prevent the man from coming back and damaging uh, by stealing and eating from the tree of life we see here a huge um, thing that the Creator, He created a place that is heavenly, that is fantastic and great, the Garden of Eden. And in the end of the day, we see that Adam and his wife are being excommunicated, rejected from, from Eden and going to the regular world as we know as the world of today. Now, um, why did the Creator did all that. We know, we believe that the Creator, He thinks all the thoughts and He knows all the things and He knew already in the beginning what will happen in the end. So why in the world did He cause all that mess, all that problem, all that sin inside the Garden of Eden and after it have to exile Adam out? Why? For what? So that thought came to me that if the salvation would take place before the sin in Eden, so the salvation would have taken place only in that um, um, limited place of the Garden of Eden. And the wide world, all of the world that is known as the world for us today, wouldn't enjoy the light of redemption because it would take place only in the place of Eden, of Garden of Eden, where Adam was and his wife and their children and uh, would come out to the world over there. And there will be no light in the exile. But because that we now for more than 6,000 years, uh, I'm sorry, more than 5,000 years, close to the six. Um, going in the exile, in the darkness, in different lands, in different, um, in different places. Um, and finally the Creator will redeem us from here, from the darkness, 
So the place of redemption will be the, the dark side of earth, the, the, the exile. And therefore, there will be more light coming. The redemption will be greater, even greater than it was supposed to be if it would take place before the sin in the Garden of Eden. So we can see the pure intention of the Creator finally to reveal His loving kindness even on to the dark and lower places of the exile, also to people like us that are not able to hold themselves in purity uh, like Adam and Eve were supposed to. And we're thanking the Creator for His mercy and waiting for the redemption day with a happy heart and a wishing soul. Amen. We hope you enjoyed this video very much. Please now remember to subscribe and like this video and share it with your friends to help spread faith in the world. For more, please visit amuna.com. May your light shine always and your request should be answered with the greatest blessings. Amen.